celebration is apathetic and lethargic. It will be evident that my peers and I care about this earth. No longer can it be said that environmental destruction will be the norm. In the future, I will live in a country of my own making. I do not concede that 30 years from now I will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of my divorce. Experts tell me this is a quick fix aside, but this will not be true in my era. Families stayed together once upon a time. I tell you this, family is more important than work. I have my priorities straight because my employer will know that they are not the most important thing in my life. So in 30 years, I will tell my children money will make me happy is a lie. Happiness comes from within. I realize this may be a shock, but I can change the world, and I refuse to believe I am part of a lost generation. managers from Canada. May I see? In Canada, what we in America call the millennial generation is called the sunshine generation, in part because they are so hopeful and buoyant about the future. And frankly, I'm thrilled that they are because they're inheriting a crap sandwich. You know, <laughs> we need every ounce of their optimism and every ounce of their hopefulness, their hopefulness and their creativity. So today, I want to do three things in our time together. First, I want to introduce you to your next citizens. But I also want to put them in context, because every generation influences its era, and all eras influence their generations. And the era that we're in now was absolutely predicted, and so it's no wonder that we have a future generation of citizens uh, writing palindromes like this one. And then finally, I want to share some success stories. Um, I've got some of my clients in the audience today, including one of my favorites of all time, Akron, Ohio, is in the house with us today. Um, give it up. 30 of them are here on a city visit to the great city of Milwaukee. Um, and they, among many others of you, are here in the audience today. I'm very grateful that you've allowed us to work side by side with you, discovering what works and sometimes what doesn't, which is as valuable. So let's get started. Who is your next citizen? Well, I brought along another short video. This is one of a two and a half year old who's being handed the first generation iPad. She's never seen an iPad before, but her father is a tech geek. He has one, and he's handing it to her. And when you think about who you're planning for, who you're developing for, who your city will be inherited to, it is this generation. Please meet this adorable two-and-a-half-year-old. Toy. Are you ready for a new toy? Do you like new toys? Okay, you want a new one? Okay, here it is. Sugar Tower! Look, Sugar Tower! Yep, it's got Sugar Tower on it. Look, movie. It's the movie that we're recording. Oh, that's how you flip the screen. No problem. I want the one that takes the picture. <laughs> she wants the one that takes the picture, which is the next iPad. Oh, I started this app. Here, I'll help you. Oh, it draws. Oh, made it bigger. It draws. Cool. Whoa. Clear. Bam. Her dad needs to help her a little bit with this app. She needs a little bit of coaching to get back to that cat app. Meanwhile, she's like... Do you want to go back to the, the, the dog and cat app? Click the button. The big button at the bottom there. There you go. Now push the cat and you'll be all set. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Now hit uh, 